your freedom and your yes back. I'm talking about the EV Rider Transport Plus four-wheel mobility scooter, item number V45605. Over 230 have been picked up since we offered it at this price of $17.99.98. There's only 330 to go around right now in all colors, which I'm gonna show you in just a moment. We're offering it to you on easy pay for $360 for five months, and free shipping and handling is offered to you today as well, so you're saving $66.47. Now, before we dive in a little bit deeper, I wanna tell you about a few things. If you're a Q Card member, you can take advantage of 18 months special financing, and it will come out to be about $100 a month. So that's a great, great thing to consider if you wanna purchase this for yourself or someone you love. If you don't have a Q card, go to qvc.com, put Q card in the search bar, and once you get approved, you get $60 off instantly off your first purchase. You can use it right here on this scooter. And then you get five easy payments on all your future purchases. So just something to keep in mind. Now we talked a second ago about colors and options. So let's walk through colors. This is your burgundy option. On qvc.com, you're gonna see blue, copper, and the purple. Now, I'm so happy because Denise and I have presented EV Rider quite a few times, but never in person. So we're gonna ride our mobility scooters tonight and do the whole breakdown. And hey, here hey. she is, what an entrance. <laughs> I know, right? I feel wow. like uh, I'm on the boardwalk right. waving to people, I don't know. <laughs> are you Miss America? I, something, Hi. something like that. I heard you say blue, so I'm like, oh, that's my cue. Yes, How oh are my you? gosh, hello. It's, I'm gonna hug you again, I, I don't know, care. I know, it's lovely to care. see you. Because we're used to seeing each other virtually, like through the TV. I know, oh my gosh, nice you're real, <laughs> you're here, oh my gosh. It is so good to see you in person. Thank you. you too. Um, thank you. There's so much to talk about, and I'm excited to get right in because I know each EV rider has something special and unique. Exactly. And I've actually never presented this one with you. We didn't do this one. Well, this we one is what we call our manual fold. So it's fully assembled out of the box. This one comes in at 75 pounds. Okay. Holds 250. If you want to make it 25 pounds lighter, you can do that. It's pretty easy. But to fold it, it's just a simple three-step process. So really, really simply, if you want to see what that yes. looks like, you take the seat back, which by the way, this seat back, not all of our seat backs on the scooters are big, cover a lot of surface area, and are as padded as this huh. one. So if you have someone more sizable or likes that additional back support, that's what this does. But nice. step one for the folding process is you put the seat back down, and on all of the scooters, no matter which color scooter you're riding, there's a red lever right here at the bottom left part of the base. You're just gonna push that with your foot, and you see what happens. Automatically, it releases the base, that locking mechanism, allowing you to fold the scooter in half. It's also locked into place here. Now, with two hands, you're gonna take this and lift with your legs and go upright. So now it's like that piece of luggage. So you're either storing it in the closet, bringing it to your car, putting it in the garage. Um, you know, 75 pounds, you can make this 25 pounds later. I'll show you how we can do that. But we know that when we go to unfold, we always start from that flat position. Yes. So lower it down. Now step number one is going to be stepping on that little red lever. It's going to unlock the lock position. But step two is the most important part right here. So I'm going to ask you to take one hand onto the console, one hand under here, and just push away from one another. You yeah. already did it. Ah, you already did it. And go. wait for that click. Step three, you lift that seat back. So it's really, truly simple. If easy, easy. you wanted to make this uh, that 25 pounds lighter, what you can do is pull out this battery. This battery weighs 20 pounds. And then the seat, you could pull this little red knob and the seat actually slides off on tracks. Oh, so wow. if you wanted to do it, you can, but not necessary, no assembly or disassembly necessary to enjoy the scooter. Wow. Now, you talked a moment ago about the seat. Is there a weight limit? There's 250 pound weight capacity here. Um, and a lot of people then say, well, is there a height uh, limit or height requirement? And there really isn't. It's mostly about how much you weigh. If you have longer legs, of which you and I do not do have. Not. Correct. We bond over that for sure. <laughs> but if somebody in your family that you would be getting this for, maybe it is you, there's a knob right here on the tiller, what we call the tiller, that you can lower the steering column significantly lower or raise it up higher to accommodate somebody with longer legs. 
and it also affords you some free space um, under here because the base on this scooter is a little bit longer than our lightweight models so you have a little more room if you wanted to do some shopping maybe put a grocery basket or something under there or, or a purse or something uh, all you have to do is make sure you tighten that knob in once you've made that customized selection for your height I love that this is great. Uh, easy, right? It really right? is so easy. Actually, speaking about easy, so when you get it home to your house, mm -hmm. like how easy it is it to take it out of the box and go? Honestly, I've had the feedback from people say, you know what, this is so easy. The hardest part was getting it out of the box because it's packed so well. And you know, it, it's a lot of money. So yeah. you do want it to be packed impeccably, and it is. So out of the box, fully assembled. You might have to, the very first time with this one, slide that seat on the track. Okay. Um, but really, a full charge takes four to six hours uh, for the uh, charging of the battery. And then that will bring you up to nine miles. And I, I like to say up to nine miles because with a 250 pound weight capacity, if someone weighs 250 and you have terrain with a lot of hills, mm -hmm. you might get eight or nine. Okay. But someone more petite like us, if we're riding on flat terrain, we might get nine or 10 miles. But our general rule is we say nine miles on that full charge. That's great. And you know, I'm thinking now about trick or treating yeah. and apple picking and all the things that kind of involve different terrains. Yeah. So just curious how this really works on different terrains. It does great. It does great. It does indoors and outdoors. It travels beautifully. What another rule, general rule is with the scooter is you wouldn't take this anywhere that you wouldn't take a baby stroller or a bicycle or a wheelchair. So it would sink, anything would sink into, like sand would be um, not recommended, but this does beautifully, like on the boardwalk, if you still want to see the ocean. Yeah. Indoors, it's just awesome. Hardwood, tile, uh, your transition strips even, um, carpeting. Uh, so really, really just good for all kinds of things, indoors and out. Should That's great. we take it for a little spin? Yes. Awesome, awesome. I think they've told us that we can go this way and this way. Oh. <laughs> so I just love that very maneuverable. And I will tell you too, as scooters go, I'm gonna do a big circle right here. Okay. For the size of this scooter, you can see how almost my back wheels are literally, turn the speed way down so I don't get myself dizzy, almost <laughs> turning on a dime. So if you're thinking, is this gonna be too big? Am I gonna get in the way of places? Right. Can I go into smaller spaces? You can go into smaller spaces and you will not be in the way. I did make myself a little I bit dizzy love there. That. Oh, and, no. and no, but I love that you you were doing it. You belly right up yeah. to a table. Just turn yourself side saddle and this works for a desk, a table, you know, maybe you're dining out with friends or you do want to eat at the table with family and friends, just remove the chair and pull right up and you can enjoy with everybody. That's great, I love that. Or even, you know, we've talked about it before, puzzles and yes. games and all the all things that you do at a table. Mm -hmm. Maybe you just have bills that you need to write out yeah. and checks and just those everyday things that you need to yeah. do, you have the power to do that. My husband still does that. He's, he does old school. He still writes it. the check. He still reads the newspaper. I'm like, hey, That's you know, awesome. there's a thing that on, on your phone, like an app that you could just, you know, hit a couple yeah. buttons. And, nope. I like to do it. I like to see it. And, oh, I love it. I kind of yeah. get it. It yeah. depends. Sometimes yeah. it just feels good to have something physical. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I get it. Um, your husband's <laughs> awesome, by the way. Happy anniversary. You had an we anniversary We did. Recently. We did. It was September 1st. What a memory you have. Thank yeah, you. it was like 39 years. Yeah. Oh. Felt a little like 79, but 39 is good, you know. too. Hey, you should have a parade for 39 years. You know, God bless some, you guys. Some of my friends do say that. They're like, yeah. you know, that's not that common these days. So exactly. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> but, you know, it's funny. We're, like, riding and talking, and I'm just thinking Perfect. about people, you know, who are missing out on just this mundane, I don't want to say mundane thing, but just, like, the everyday, hey, meeting up with my friends. Maybe yeah. you live in a community. Um, and you haven't seen your friends. Right. You haven't been able to get together and just chit chat yeah. because you can't see each other. Exactly. You know, so you could roll up to someone's door and say, hey, I'm here, let's chat, let's make some memories together. Yeah. Um, this really gets you everywhere you need to go and gives you that freedom back. We talk about it all the time, EV Rider gives you freedom. You don't have to rely yeah. on anybody. You don't have to rely on a wheelchair. Yeah. I mean, you truly are independent. It, absolutely, and you can see this small little space here um, I know when I use this in my own home, I don't have a very large kitchen. Yep. My kitchen island is closely spaced like it is here. So this just shows you, this goes through, by the way, just your standard doorway. So it's not wider than your average doorway. It can go uh, you know, in your home to the refrigerator if you need to get something to eat or to the sink. 
or you know cook maybe you want to make cook a meal you could absolutely do that because of the height of this so kind of ingeniously placed that if you wanted to at my home this is be my cooktop or right here there's a stove and I apologize for turning my back to the camera but if I wanted to do something like make a grilled cheese or scrambled eggs or heat up some soup, yeah. I just turn side saddle. But I could also cook a whole meal if I wanted to. Pardon my battery packs. I could stand, I could cook, I could, you know, maybe I love to follow recipes. Yeah. And just know that if it's the legs that get weak, I still have the scooter, right? Love the that. seat's right here because for so many people with mobility challenges and issues, it's the fear of falling or the fear of, you know, where is the seat when I need it? Absolutely. And I always kind of say, like the EV rider, these wheels become your legs and the seat is always with you. I love that. And you know, we have some great color options mm -hmm. for our friends at home. And I like that EV rider has done that because you know, you know what you're getting here, yes. but at least you have a choice in your color. So that's kind of neat. This is the burgundy option. And Denise is on that blue. Mm -hmm which has been very, very popular. And if you go to qvc.com, we have copper. Oh, they're right there on set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Copper and purple. Mm -hmm. Oh my, and they've been sitting there the whole time. You know what? Because when I looked at them, I looked at the Christmas tree, and for a second, I totally blurred out because yeah. I thought, which I've never thought of before, decorating your Christmas tree. Uh, Imagine that your grandchildren want to put up that special ornament, oh, yeah. and you and can you ride can. up right to the tree, yeah and put the ornaments up. So oh, that, another that. thing that you don't have to yeah. miss. So that's what I was thinking about. I didn't even look at the colors. No, but, that's all good. But what, what yeah. I'm thinking about even too is when you start talking about the holidays and Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever it may be, this is where we um, and my siblings ended yeah. up doing the shopping for my dad because every year we go through the same thing. There's seven of us, Melissa. That's so a lot. That's a big family. We're, we're always like, what are we gonna do for mom? What are we gonna do for dad? What are we gonna do for Christmas? What yeah. are we gonna do for, you know, there's a picture of my dad. Aww, that's that's my so big sweet. papa. Lo love, <laughs> love my dad. That's, yeah, that's my kitchen. That's my living Aww. room right there. We, we get together very, very often. And, and dad's legs aren't what they used to be. They kind of buckle from time to time. He goes down. We call him big papa because he's got some size to him. Aww. And I'll tell you, when he goes down, it's hard to get him back up. But we ride the scooter, and then he doesn't have to worry about falling and hurting himself. But we got him the scooter for Christmas. Because we're always going, what are we going to do? Let's get a bottle. Let's get him another tie. Let's get him his Eagle suspenders. And they're all nice gifts. But when we got him the scooter, this was something that was substantial. It was meaningful to him. And it really did change the quality of his life and the things that he was able to now do for himself instead of feeling like he was always asking for help or feeling. It made him feel weak mm. and and you know like like he just didn't wasn't relevant and this gives him such independence with dignity because it's a cool looking ride yeah. that he can do things on his own and not have to feel like he needs to be babysat you know which is great because i feel like when your emotional state starts to wither like if you already have mobility issues yeah. adding on top of that maybe some you know emotional things sure. going on it, that could be really bad yeah so at least when you're getting that freedom back and you're able to do those everyday things then i think mm. your your mind starts to get better exactly. you're happier and then the people around you can really enjoy you your exactly. friends and family so it's good for everybody it's a very self it's a selfless gift mm. and you know even though it's a considered purchase Denise. You know, seventeen ninety nine ninety eight. That's mm -hmm. that's you Not know pricey, change. but I always say it every time. Like memories and the times that you share with friends and family, it it's priceless. Yeah. Those moments are priceless. Yep. So when you think of it that way and you divide it and say, look, I'll put on an easy pay for three sixty, yeah. or I'll get that eighteen months financing. You yeah. know, a uh, hundred dollars a month. Yeah, for freedom. And I'll, I'll go back to my family background. I have a home health care background, a DME company, durable medical equipment company that my uh, family established probably back in 19, I want to say 84, 5, 6, somewhere around then. So my whole adult life has been around hospital beds, oxygen, seat lift chairs, wheelchairs, stair glides, mobility scooters. Uh, fell in love with this brand. This is the one that for me did all the important boxes so that my family members, uh, was, this is the one we use, and this is the one I wanted to bring to QVC. But I bring that up because I think oftentimes people think, oh, well, if I need a scooter, I'm just going to let my insurance company pay for it. I'll submit it through the insurance and it'll all be said and done, and that's how we'll do this. Unfortunately, and I know this because of my background, insurance companies do not deem mobility scooters as a medical necessity. Wow. And that means they pay nothing. Now you may have uh, a type of insurance that maybe 2% of the population has that may, this is not even a guarantee, may pitch in 
a couple hundred dollars. Mm. But when you go to rent these out in the marketplace, for a scooter like this that's fully assembled, you may get it for $30 to $50 for a day. That's crazy. You may get it for $150 to $175 a week. Wow. Or to rent something like this for a month, it could cost anywhere from three to $400. But nobody does what QVC does. With 18 months to spread it out,